Today, we had a new update where we added the medic cameraman and some other pretty important stuff. So first of all, the medic cameraman actually heals your units from being stunned. So that's going to be really, really helpful if you're trying to win toilet HQ. It's best to have it in a duo though, because if you have two players, one of you can have pretty much my loadout and the other person, probably the best things they could have would be, well, keeping a scientist, but then like engineer cameraman, TV woman, mech cameraman, and probably one of these titans also. There's also another new unit, the car speaker man, which, well, he does pretty high damage, but also has a pretty high cooldown. So I'm gonna join Toilet HQ. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, also there's a leaderboard right here. Uh, it goes to the top 100 and it's not letting me scroll on it for some reason. And in game, now we actually have an auto skip. So of course you probably don't want to use this on Toilet HQ because it's the hardest game mode. Let's put the car speaker man down right here. And well, he just like sits down, <laughs> drives to this car and watch watch him attack he just goes forwards and then backwards really fast for some reason he also punches um I, maybe he gets angry and like is punching the steering wheel i don't really know what's going on with them definitely not as good as ninja cameraman for attacking units fast but at least he does damage you can upgrade him to attack slightly faster and do more damage but i don't know if that'll even work because like everything is getting past the first one yeah this probably isn't the best unit for the hardest game mode but it is only an uncommon anyways let me try to show you the other unit too i think i'll actually just use ninja cameraman because like we're not gonna get far without it actually beat the boss toilet kind of easily but we're not really gonna need the medic cameraman until like later in the game uh oh the buzzsaw toilet isn't really going too well it still has a thousand five hundred yes we got it at the very end this is kind of the same strategy as last time except this time instead of having a mech i have the guy that like unstuns your units on the way with two vacuum toilets and a dual blade toilet we got one of the vacuums but i uh oh the ninja just cameraman got stunned. Okay, we got the dual blade. The vacuum is pretty low. All right, we maxed out the first Titan cameraman. So I think we should max out this ninja cameraman. And then just in case, because of later, we're going to put the medic cameraman actually in the middle here. And we're going to try to upgrade him a little bit so we can reach both these guys. All right, that's legit the perfect range. We barely got the Titan and the ninja cameraman in there. But once every two seconds, he will heal one from being stunned. Well, if they're both stunned. The UFO is here and we are are beating it like around halfway I guess. Two UFO toilets getting the first one right before this turn and the second one before this turn. That is actually pretty good. We're now officially past halfway there. I got all my sciences cameraman upgraded except for well, this one's only a max level but all these are level five. And I think for the other medic placement we'll put a titan cameraman right here. I mean TV man but the medic is gonna go over here on this side. I'm gonna max out this medic now because like this cameraman and the TV man are are out of reach. There we go. That literally doubles the range to 30. So now that's pretty good. Got the giant dual blade on wave 30 over here. That's not that good, but we're about to max out the Titan TV man. Then we can get some more Titan cameraman. I finally maxed out all my scientists cameraman. It took way longer than expected on wave 34. We don't really have too much stuff to do damage. So I'm a little worried because four UFOs are here. Uh oh. Okay. We're getting the fourth one at this turn. That's not too bad, but everything is kind of getting stunned and then healed. The turrets stun every second and the medic heals every second. So it's like an ongoing battle when they're passing. I reached max units, so I had to sell the ninja cameraman right here, but I'm gonna put a titan TV man like right by this medic. The max a single person can play, so these is only two though. So I mean, it's really OP. It can heal your units really fast. So the best is probably just putting one on the left and one on the right. But I think I'm gonna invest in some more titan cameramen back here. Oh yeah, I forgot I max troops. We're gonna have to sell the ninja cameraman. I guess I'll sell the scientist cameraman next and then just put like more TV men right here and here. But we're already on wave 41. Only nine more waves and then we win but things are looking pretty promising let's see if the medic caravan strat is good we actually don't have any units that slow anything right now the bad thing about this wave is there are so many turrets like we kind of gotta try getting everything before the turrets reach my good units back here but it's looking pretty fine because the last ufo toilets already have yeah we're still fine after 42 i'm gonna probably save up to 40,000 before i get the four tv men uh oh this is the wave with the four flamethrowers i think we're fine though because we do have the TV 
TV even that can do quite a bit of damage before they really reach anything. But they attack pretty much like instantly, because I mean, they literally are breathing fire the whole time. So it's just gonna be a... Actually, the medics are gonna slow them down to quite a bit, because they're gonna have to keep stopping to breathe fire on all these units. So like, that's pretty decent. We already got two. We got the third. The last one is already like half. We're still totally fine. All right, I have like 35,000. I think it's time to sell the scientist cameraman. And we're gonna get two TV men on this row. So there's the first one, the second, and then two more back here. So that's one. And yeah, I think I need to save up a little bit more. The vacuums are all dying as they're like stopping right here though. So that's pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about are there are five UFO toilets and they really, really like to stun the TV men. I mean, we already got one. The others are half. We should be fine. All right, got two, got three, got four. And yeah, that was really fast. Bro, the TV men are destroying the rocket toilets. They're all already gone. Same with the dual blade toilets. And we finally maxed out the last TV men. So now everything is maxed out that can be maxed out. And we just gotta hope that everything goes well for the rest of the game. So we're already on 46. It's almost over. And that's the last giant dual blade. This might be better than the mech cameraman strategy, even though we don't have any units that slow toilets. You can easily do this in a duo. Just get the other person. Or like, make sure they have the Titan cameraman, and you can just place the TV man. We're just destroying wave 47. Nothing even got past, like, right here. Alright, this is one of the pretty hard waves, because we have three UFO toilets and a ton of other random stuff that stuns our units, but we still have those two medic cameramen, so I'm not really too worried. Alright, that's three of the four UFO toilets, and all are gone. Literally only two flying rocket launcher toilets left, and that one's stuck in the corner for some reason. I'm not too sure what he is doing over there. We already got the dual flying buzzsaws, so now it's just the normal dual blades, and four flamethrowers again. Yeah, we got two, we got three, or now we got three, like, this is still going pretty well, actually, like, very well. Now we're literally on wave 50. This is the final wave, and then we win the game. Of course, the flying rocket launcher toilets are launching a ton of rockets, but it does not matter because everything keeps getting healed. A lot of stuff is coming out, but everything is just getting destroyed really fast. Bro, the buzz saws and dual blades aren't getting far at all. Where? There's the glitch toilet. The glitch toilet is here. Okay, we need to watch out because, like, he has a pretty crazy amount of health, and my guys are still focusing on the dual flying buzz saw. All right, now we're on the glitch toilet. We're on the glitch toilet, finally. Oh, this is actually OP. He just keeps going back because the medic keeps healing the guys. So he's moving really slow. He's like, he, I think we got it already. Bro didn't even get halfway through the track. That's crazy. All right, we're on the flamethrower toilets now. All right, this is the last one, and then we win the game. Is it even gonna get to this turn right here? I don't think so. And we won the match. So yeah, this strategy is actually really good. Again, if you don't have Titan Cameraman, you can literally just get someone else that has it. I should probably also mention that there is a new code. If you type in slash redeem auto skip, it actually doesn't work in the chat because we changed it where now codes are at the bottom of the shop menu. So the code is just auto skip and then you can press redeem and you get 200 free coins. So enough for two free summons. It's pretty easy to get the medic cameraman because like you get a free luck boost every update, which is going to make epics 8%. So you'll end up needing to just spend like a thousand ish coins, which if you use a coin boost and grind carry on HQ like a couple times you can get it. But that's pretty much it for the new update. So subscribe, like, come play the game. It's linked in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.